guys, it's me Fia here and welcome back to my channel. I interviewed 40 people. Yes guys, I have sat down and talked to over 40 people to find out about their culture just for you guys. This has been tough. This has been one of the most difficult projects of my life. So I hope you guys really can enjoy this content that's coming to you in a series and just, yeah, just take it all in guys. Subscribe if you enjoy these videos and give this video a thumbs up just to show some appreciation. Bye bye. Uh, just to show some appreciation guys especially for those out there who may be struggling with anxiety as well you know what it's like anyways guys without further ado here's a video I interviewed various people from all over the world to find out about their culture here's what the result is do you have a local delicacy in your country that foreigners usually hate Oh, there's a lot. You have this thing called iguana soup. <laughs> but it's really good. Like, so good. Fish sauce. And I think the other people don't like it because it smell. Like, it's like fish smell. But, you know, if it, you cook in proper way, it will be super good. Chicken feet. So we have something called haggis. Which is like, to me and to other Scottish people, it's just normal. We just eat it. Like, they serve it in school at the canteen. But for other people, it's like, oh no, that's so disgusting because it's made up of like sheep's intestines, sheep's liver. It sounds horrible, but when it's all like it's all mashed together, it just tastes like a sausage. For me, it's it's beautiful. Maybe if you go further into Quebec, they like to eat their meat a lot more raw than a lot of the world. Fondue and rotet is some bread with a strong cheese. It's, for me, it's very very good. We eat rice every time, every meal. That's a bit weird for foreigner, but we. Yeah, Mostly it's like the sweet we call licorice. Most people don't like it, but most people in Denmark really enjoy it. They think it's weird because it's not really sweet, it's more salty. Uh, most of our candies are spicy candies, so one of them is a tamarind candy and it's just a paste, but they don't like it. This one that we do with Sago Farm, that it goes to process, it become powder. And then we do all types like baking and soup. I think the foreigners, they don't like this because by the look of it. One thing that I love is this fermented bean paste too. It's called Changgukjang and it smells like a foot. I'm not gonna lie, it smells like a foot but it's delicious. Chicken feet, live octopus, um, silkworm larvae, stew. In Colombia, we have amazing food for this. Really, I think that everyone likes the food of Colombia. We have amazing, amazing food. I miss my food. <laughs> Vegemite, I guess. I mean, it's not something you would buy on the street, like at a local restaurant, but definitely the, the spread that we put on toast, it's not, it doesn't go down well with people. Pinky tofu. Yeah, yeah this <laughs> smells like garbage. Yeah, but actually it tastes super nice. National dish, like a barbecue called the hot hog or bodok. How they make is that they slaughter the goats and then you put the meats and you know like a, a seasoned meat inside the goat's stomach and then you put the hot stones and all the things you wrap it and then you like gas it from the outside from the inside it's getting done because of the hot stone outside it's because of the gas so it's getting done so kind of disgusting to see but it tastes really good. Farofa, some people love it, others hate it, and farofa, I can best describe it as something that looks like sand, but tastes and smells like bacon. I think we have fly fork. So, they we gonna fly all the skin, everything, and then it's like it. And <laughs> when you guys go to my country, you see that it's eh, nasty, you don't wanna eat. Yeah, and also the egg, the chicken in the egg. So this will be nasty for you guys, but for others, yummy. Vitamalt, this is a drink and um, we love it. <laughs> it doesn't have the best taste, but it's just something that you need to drink it. Once you have a chilled Vitamalt, it's like the best thing ever. But foreign people I've noticed usually think it tastes really bad or like molasses or something. We have, uh, the Hungarian name is Potsal. Uh, the Potsal is a uh, food, it's from the cows bellies. We cut for small pieces. It looks like uh, a coral. So white 
and uh, after we make uh, the food it's uh, similar than the stew I really love this uh, food but a lot of Hungarians not just in, uh, foreign people the Hungarians don't, don't like this food because the origin durian durian which has spiky thorns at the skin durian <laughs> I love durian but people say it's nasty <laughs> and so yeah it's a soup that's made up of uh, potatoes, a lot of onions, and the tuna fish. But it's amazing. We always eat it in the mornings. I would say yambo. It's like, um, if you know okra, so it's like slimy, and it's in. You, you, they make it as a soup. So they make fish soup or um, okra stew. We have chicken feet. We have all kinds of intestine, pig, chicken, and even ox. Yeah, ox tongue. We eat also. Thousand year egg, fermented egg, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of like they use the sauce and just wait for it till it changed the color. <laughs> caterpillars. So in our country, we do eat caterpillars. I don't eat caterpillars, but most of the people that come to our country don't like the caterpillars, so they don't eat them. Ah, uh, definitely mate. This is mate. This is sherwa. It's cold water. The thing is, now I'm drinking alone, but we share the same thing with everyone. So for so many people, it's weird to drink from the same straw as I'm doing now. And then you share it to other ones. So we have one food, which is a sausage that is made out of blood. So it's called blood sausage. Sounds a bit gross, doesn't taste too bad. Some people really like it. For me, I'm also not the biggest fan, but there are some people just the thought to make it out of blood is a bit too much for them. The name is natto. The natto is beans, but like kind of like same to cheese, like a long time we keep it, kind of keep it, and it became like bad smell and sticky and like looks like brown beans and we put soy sauce on the natto and we like just mix it and we do like this and we be like the beans became like so sticky and we eat them. Video of the video, thank you so much. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Bye!